So given tonight's prompt, I wanted to do my presentation on something important, something that really matters, something that affects everyone in this room, regardless of class or status. You see, there are some problems that this world faces that we cannot solve if we are not united as people. The whole world has to work together towards the common goal of solving this problem. And if it continues to get worse, it could spill over into a true crisis situation. <laughs> That's right. I'm talking about bathrooms. <laughs> Designed for shit. Did you think I was gonna say climate change? Nope. Bathrooms. The porcelain throne. The dunny. The crapper. The commode. Now, before I explain why I chose to do my presentation on this smelly topic, let me tell you about the best bathroom that I've ever been graced to visit. As I reached the boulder field on a mission to the top of Long's Peak, I knew I had to go. And like an angel from heaven, this building appeared before me. Now this bathroom was a project from the Colorado Building Workshop, CU Denver's design build program in the School of Architecture. The steel elements in this building were prefabricated and flown in by helicopter and assembled in eight days. That's a good bathroom. <laughs> so why am I talking about bathrooms right now? Well, I found in my time here in Colorado that there's a dichotomy that exists in the access that we have to public restrooms. This dichotomy on one side, wealthy, outdoorsy Coloradans have access to free public restrooms at trailheads all over the state in our national parks and our national forests, wherever recreation happens. People without the means to travel, however, out of our urban areas have minimal to no access to the same public restrooms. And it's easy to take these bathrooms for granted as most people have access to bathrooms at home or at work, and when we go out and recreate in the mountains, why would it be any different? You can just assume that there would be a bathroom at the trailhead. However, many people don't have the same luxury to not think about it. Can you imagine what it's like to be turned away from private bathrooms and have no access to free public ones? This lack of public bathrooms in our urban areas has many negative effects. It can contribute to animosity between house people and the unhoused, and it also denies people their human right to dignity, privacy, and hygiene. Now, before I get into how we can make this world affecting a uh, problem better, let me explain how we got to where we are today in this situation with public bathrooms. And it's surprising. <laughs> Saloons. In the early, uh, in the early er, 18th century, beginning of the 20th century, as they were, op they were often the only option in urban areas when people had to go to the bathroom. And saloon keepers saw this as a great way to generate new business as well. And although saloons today are still a great place to go if you have to, if you walked into the dark horse and went into the right bathroom the first time, you're definitely more perceptive than me, or you hadn't had enough to drink. <laughs> <laughs> However, the prohibition happened, and when saloons, quote unquote, ceased to exist, demand for the public bathrooms increased and it was met with new public bathrooms in cities all across the country, led by community groups. Then, in the 1960s and 1970s, however, as America became the car-centric monstrosity that we live in today, many public bathrooms were associated with public transit, and those lost out to the expansion of car-based infrastructure. 
And things today really have not improved much. As our society continues to see basic services, like access to bathrooms, access to public transit, as purchasable commodities, and not a right given by the government to its citizens. And now cities across the US are trying to address this problem in many ways, Denver included. Here's a mobile public bathroom in den downtown Denver. However, projects like this tend to be more of a Band-Aid solution to a deeper problem. For example, see this map of the general downtown Denver area. There are only five bathrooms listed on Denver's website. One of them is permanently closed. Two require a security check and are open for only minimal hours. And one is just a porta potty. I think this paints the picture of where we are pretty clearly. <laughs> so I'm not saying that we need to have public bathrooms like this one that I found on Art Daily or Long's Peak Privies in downtown Denver parks. But it's on us as designers to imagine and build public buildings that address the needs of everyone in our community as this is a design problem, as much as it is a problem with our institutions. <laughs> so there you have it. It's really about design for shit. And if I know one thing is true in this life, it's that shit happens <laughs> at least once a day.